It's running. Oh yeah. shit. Hi mom! <laughs> I'm in Croatia <laughs> with Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Hello girls and boys. Uh, we are in the Master Workshop and uh, Joao came to visit. Yes. And uh, Hello, yeah, guys. Well, hopefully we will have some fun. It, it was also already <laughs> like it's a very fun already. crazy ride. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome to the channel. Uh, I am Daniel Mastran. I am Joao Reis. And uh, thank you for watching. So, what I would we, like to try yours if you don't mind, as we told on the phone. Yeah. So you can try mine and I can try yours because uh, this was the first one, this okay. was the second, so uh, this will be the fourth, no. <laughs> this is the third. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. Yeah, just check it out, you know, because I was smoking her like crazy. Uh, yeah. Just to give a little update, uh, maybe you should talk about uh, yeah. the. The system, yeah. How we made it. So, uh, despite basically, uh, when we look outside, it looks somehow like a regular pipe, but it actually it is a kind of a, a calabash system that I come to come to think about this uh, this idea, of, and the, that's what we that's why we're making the video to show you how the system works. Actually, this is uh, this spot is completely empty, all the way, and I'll open it so of course to show you guys. So, the bowl is easily taken apart just by putting my finger uh, a in the bowl, a, wiggle. a little bit of a wiggle and then it gets loose and here it comes. Yeah. So uh, inside it is completely hollow, let me get maybe a little close, maybe you can see a little bit inside is completely hollow. Yeah. And there's another detail too because it's not only uh, the, um, the head. But the shank has also, uh, it is also like a, we call it reverse calabash, it's a, a, a very large smoking channel if we can say so. I don't know if we can... It is hollowed out. Yeah, through, I think you can see with some of the light we have above, I can see you can, you can see inside and I'll try to see if I can get some light there from the top. No, not really. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Maybe, let me see if I can show, yeah. There you can you, you might can use oh this. perfect yeah this will this will yeah. do the trick see so this pipe is somehow it's a completely hollow body so that that makes it uh, well we don't really have a name for it maybe if you guys have some idea for it some name we at, at the moment we are just calling it for a, a Erica calabash. calabash yeah it's a calabash system Erica is the name of our uh, cooperation or the work we do together. And uh, yeah, and we're making this video specially to show this uh, um, new system, if we can call so. It's a kind of a calabash, though it does look like a calabash, but it works like it. And actually, it might not sound very good when it comes from the pipe maker, but honestly, it's the very, very, very best pipe I've ever smoked in my life. I've made many calabash pipes on the regular kind of calabash, briar calabash, of course, but this goes even. Uh, how can I say, uh, uh, it smokes even better, maybe because of the completely hollow shank, large, so... Large inside. Exactly, there's a lot of uh, uh, surface inside where the smoke cools out and really makes it, a, in my opinion, a, the most comfortable smoking pipe I've ever tried, so... Um, well, that's somehow yeah, it the looks, basic. It looks similar to um, a normal classical pipe, yes. but it is actually a calabash and it has a completely hollowed inside and uh, it, my experience is with that, actually that very one uh, that I got and that uh, I had the opportunity actually to try is that it's, it smokes similar to reverse calabash that yeah. has a large surface. Exactly. So. Uh, from my point of view also, this pipe actually gave me very close uh, a quality of the smoke, very close to reverse calabash, but yeah. a notch A better. notch above, yeah. 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 I don't know why it smokes really, really well. 
and uh, from what I can see on this one that you made as the first one yeah that was the very first one this one is a little bit easier to, to, to this one is a little bit easier to pop out and it seems to me that uh, uh, when you push it in and you will know better what I'm telling about yeah it holds a little bit better it seems oh, this me, one this one holds a little bit better. Yes. I don't know why I think that's because uh, um, well that the ball fits uh, can I say like if you know that the conical tenons on on the armies uh, army uh, mouthpieces it was just like the same the, the ball is slightly conical and when you push it all the way down it just holds, it, it just holds and it keeps tight uh, they have a little bit difference on the conical size on the angle yeah. on the cut yeah so maybe that's why uh, 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 they are slightly different so uh, this one was the first this was the second I made and ask uh, Daniel to try it and uh, smoke it like you know give crazy. it really yeah <laughs> Smoke it really well did, to see how and how I never cleaned it. Yeah, so it is like it is right now. You will yes. see it. But the, the idea was really to test because normally the the ball on a calabas it will go flat to the top. It has a cork ring. Here we have briar against briar. So I wanted to be sure. Be, I'm sure with my own that it was working fine. But I wanted also to have another opinion. So uh, that's why I uh, made this one and asked yeah. Daniel to test it, smoke it like crazy, so to see how much does it hold, how does it smoke. I never told you, but I have a problem with this pipe. Okay. Yeah, it's too small. Ah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's good you're telling that. It's good you're saying that. It's because small because I really love to smoke it and... The thing when you go to the end of the ball, you don't yeah, feel it because it's, no. it's not. Sm it is a little bit smaller than what I usually have in pipes. Yeah. Uh, this one I see it's a little bit even even a little bit smaller. Yeah. But I was trying to say I would love to have it a little bit bigger because it's so good to smoke. You don't feel it right to the end. No, and uh, you don't get that uh, nasty. Uh, in the end, when it's getting a little too moist and it's going out yeah, too exactly. easy, it's the same with mine. Also, when I smoke it, I smoke it all the way down, and sometimes I say, "What? What I what's done? happening? Why yeah. she's not burning?" And, and then I, you figure, "Okay, she's the, the, <laughs> Yeah, I know. But about same the size, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't tell you, but I had another idea because actually on these pipes, we can do several bowls for the same pipe. So yeah. if you want a bigger one. The question is just to make a taller bowl. Yeah. You will still have the same area inside, so you could easily make a taller bowl. That's an idea. To to have, yeah. uh, for yeah. example, we could make a box with two or three bowls, regular ones. So it's almost but It's always almost two millimeters right. above the above the top. But if you're feeling for smoking for a longer period, we can easily make two three sizes more. So you can choose. Well, uh, today I. I'm going to out and having dinner yeah. with my friends and afterwards we'll be smoking a pipe and I want to smoke for two hours or whatever you feel for. It is possible yeah. to make yeah. a different sizes that will fit the same pipe. So uh, yeah. that's also another uh, advantage of this system. Of this because system. on a regular calabash, well, it stops there. Of course, you can make them higher, but it might not look too good. And I don't know if it will look good if we have a, a bowl sticking above. But at least if you want to smoke longer, that will... So yeah, but you can with... also the 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 very thing that goes inside. You know, you you can stick with the shape here yeah. and add the detail up top, so it would be like uh, yeah, I don't know, like... top on top. Yeah, I don't know something. Yeah, uh, that's that's possible, of course. That's possible, of course. We can play with that. <coughs> we can either play with that. The pipe is really good. I love to smoke it. Yeah, and uh, there is a new one here. Exactly. It's a little bit bigger. That's maybe more your size. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can show it. Yeah. So yeah, um, she is a little bit bigger and has additional stem. Yes. So this one is actually uh, the first one that we will make available very soon. Uh, these were the first two ones we were testing them. Uh, this one I've made it for, I don't know, about nine months ago, and I've been smoking it. I've smoked it, I don't know, twenty, thirty times, maybe even more, but around there. I'm not the everyday pipe smoker, as most of you know, but I've been smoking quite a lot of pipe lately because I need to test it. So, uh, and I'm very happy with the result. Uh, I think also 
for people like me that are not the everyday pipe smoker and sometimes people have a little bit of a trouble because the pipe burns a little bit your tongue I really don't have that problem with this pipe and I think that's due to the to the hollow inside that really cools the smoke down and makes it really comfortable to smoke yeah so but yes this is now one that is is done is finished will be for sale it will be the very very first uh, available with this our new uh, Calabash system if you find some new name please uh, Send us a message uh, if you have some idea which name we could call it, just to not call it just yeah, Calabash we'll, System. We'll because in the description something, if yeah. you figure anything, it would be really great. If I'm no good with names, so... <laughs> me neither, so we, until now we're just calling it for a Calabash System, because it's a hollow body with a removable cap and so on, so it's it's about just a Calabash. We just call it Calabash yeah. System because it's completely different than the shape, the regular shape of a Calabash, so... And that one, of course, reverse and, and... And the new one is coming now? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. This one will be then the fourth of this system. And, uh, of course, it will be the second that will be available for yeah. sale when, when it's done. I've, I've, uh, I've worked it until now. Make the drillings, uh, make the bowl, uh, turn the mouthpiece and from here... Daniel will carry on the rest of the work. He will uh, re, um, uh, refine the shape, reset it, uh, uh, finish. We'll make the the staining, the staining polishing, the sanding, yeah. polishing. We'll make the mouthpiece, and uh, well, then this will be the second available. Um, and it's a little bit larger than the previous ones. Also. Yes. So they go larger and larger. Yeah, they have been going larger uh, since the the first one, but. And, uh, well, this was the basic idea, the basic shape, but the system in itself, it can fit many, many different kinds of shapes. So, um, I will just open it, just to show you the difference. This one, I don't remember any longer how much, but I think I have a big hole here on the shank. I think it's about 18 millimeters. You can see it's very, very large. If I use here the flashlight, the, the bowl is on and you will be able to see through the smoking channel on the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, you will need to go a little I'll need to closer, closer up. probably. Yes. Yeah. There. And there you probably can see also the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. I will put it out also so you can see it, of course. So just so you have an idea how the system uh, will work. There we go. Like that, and like that, so it is somehow just a shell for and the, for the plug, actually. exactly for this plug and for the mouthpiece. And so we also figured out while using these two as first two pipes is that for sure we will cover the inside because we want to uh, yeah, ease a little bit on the bottom side of, of the plug because it kind of darkens also from the smoke but it is covered also smoke, from the also heat. from the temperature so, yeah. yeah yeah but yeah. funny enough that that that's really interesting it does heat up you can Sorry, see guys, I'm a little bit thirsty <laughs> <It's useful. laughs> yeah so but this way it will be a little bit easier for for the plug and i think it will also be a lot longer living and that's what we want to say. So, uh, have so uh, the new one, actually the first one that will be on the sale, it has a darkened uh, inside of the of the. It, hel it helps, in my and opinion, it, it helps help. very much to uh, yeah. to um, create the first uh, cake yeah, layer. Yeah, yeah. If if you are smoking a uh, one which is not coated, it will take longer time to build the cake and and uh, make this protective layer. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and we have other pipes. We all, yes, we of have course. Made. Yeah, but I think we we, we can uh, maybe Slot. fill up our pipes. Okay. Yeah, fill them up. I will try yours. Okay. You will try mine. Okay. And uh, I think I will. Uh, let me try something new. No, if you want this, try this one. Believe me, it's really good. Opening night from Cornell and Deal. No. Oh, oh sorry. Quiet say. night. Sorry. Okay. Oh, this one. And this, that one. This one is the GLPs. Uh, quite nice. Well, now it's still 
Lemon <laughs> fish. So it after is... a couple of those, <laughs> you will have a quiet night. I don't know if I'll be very quiet after uh, yeah. that one. <laughs> right. Okay, this is a flake I can see. That might be also a little bit dry. I don't know how you uh, like it. This like... pipe uh, dry really doesn't matter much. I can figure not that out, really. which is great for me because I'm not smoking that much unless I'm in a workshop. And yeah. these days, because it's a little bit maybe cold and, and, and like that, I don't smoke that often as in summer. No. So, uh, yeah, it, it also is, is great to have a pipe like that because on this one it doesn't matter, you know, if it's dry, okay, it's a little bit different. But and yours has filled up a very good cake. I'm, I'm I told you that I, I yeah. was smoking the hell out of her. Yeah. Money is not so much. I like her, you know, yeah. <laughs> that I keep her with, with me, you know. Yeah. yeah, of course, and I didn't coat mine either when I smoked it first time. I maybe should have done that. I would have a better uh, layer of uh, cake or whatever we call it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this, it's a little bit dry, the capstan. A little bit, yeah. But it doesn't matter. No, this, this pipe or this system, it really... Um, it softens the, the, the tobacco, it's, exactly. it, it really gets more, uh, how to describe, it's more comfortable, the, the smoke is cooler, it, it, it just smokes better, I don't really know how to describe sometimes, yeah. Yeah, you have it's a the, lot you more have taste, to I noticed that a lot more taste. taste goes out, which is kind of expected, I, I see that when smoking a reverse calabash pipes. Yeah. You simply get a lot more taste, but what's interesting, reverse the, calabash the pipes, cooler. they look in a certain way, like uh, they have like two chambers connected together usually, yeah. yes. and uh, this one, it looks like a, a classic pipe, and it doesn't yeah. look like, like a calabash, it looks like a, a regular, I don't know, Dublin or whatever, yeah. and um, yes. you don't figure at first it's there is, uh, all a reverse yeah. and calabash, you know. Yeah, because... What we see many times on reverse calabash is that we have quite a big shank, quite a thick shank, so that we can have a good hollow area inside, of course. And this one, because the, I think this shank is maybe right here at the connection with the mouthpiece, it's maybe 18 millimeters, 19 millimeters at most. So uh, it doesn't look like a reverse calabash, it doesn't look like a calabash at all, but yeah. it is a fully hollow and but if you need it keeps a, a, a more, uh, how can I say, more discreet or more classical shape. It's not looking that uh, strange uh, like sometimes some reverse calabashes look a little bit... Uh, yeah, they, some of them, <coughs> for, for the guys that are actually used to classical shapes, those yeah. are kind of a matter of taste. Yeah. And this one looks pretty classical <coughs> to me. Pretty classic, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Cheerio, guys. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> okay. And well, you have the temper there, it's good. Yeah, it doesn't have to be relighted, actually. Well, that depends on the smoker. I'm quite amateur in smoking pipes, but uh, <laughs> even though I've been smoking pipes for 26 years, I bought my first pipe when I was 15, I'm 41 now, so that's 26 years, but I love pipes, I like smoking a pipe, mm. but it's not something I do every day. What I want to ask you, mm -hmm. and you will smoke it and you will see it, uh, how do you feel now about the button? That's what I would like to know when you smoke it a little bit. What do you mean with the I'm button? asking this because we had a little argument. He's making buttons ah. a little bit differently. Yes, thin, and I like to make them a little bit rounder because I feel that they fit uh, my teeth a little bit better. So I'm doing all my pipes with a rounder button, and he's making it almost like a a straight line, almost uh, slightly curved. Yeah, but curved in other way. Yes, you curve it like from from outside, and I'm curving it from the inside. Yeah, I, I do also curve it. Actually, they are cur curved on, on both sides. On both kind of, sides. Like, uh, yeah. like 
yeah. Exactly. Curved like this, the lip, and then the outer part is curved a little bit too. So uh, you do yours uh, thinner than mine, I can see. But they are wider, deeper, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, I always, I, I was smoking your pipes that you made as a rejects. Yeah. And I kind of always, oh, always a little bit worried that they will get chewed away a little bit faster, maybe, because they are thin as paper here, almost. Mm -hmm. And with this one, you don't have to worry about that. But still, it's all about comfort. So it's all about comfort, yeah. I would yeah. like to hear your opinion when you're done smoking it a little bit, what you feel about that shape. What I can feel is against the teeth, it's about the same way like I do, but because it has a little bit more material because it rounds outwards. It's like it feels a little bit more, it's, uh, uh, there is more material. Yeah, for, for me but it kind of feels more secure. Okay. Because I can feel here, it's a little bit chewed. You it's a little bit? Chewed. Two, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. feel the, the teeth marks and over there I doubt there are too many. No, no, maybe that's because I made mine a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, I don't know. It's just a habit, that's the way I've developed to make mine and I've been happy with them. Until now I've never yeah. heard any complaints, people actually no, used I, to... No, I'm just asking because all of these are make, made with like your, this one, so yeah. if you feel and that... And this one, actually, this one comes with ah, yeah. it comes with my mouthpiece and it comes with Daniel's. Mouthpiece. So this one is the only one that will have two mouthpieces. It's also the very first. Oh, we can make two of them for for uh, like a special order or whatever. It's yeah, if some if some if someone yeah. wants to to try the the difference between the mouthpieces, I don't think that's a big deal because your no. mouthpiece is just as fine as mine, I believe. See how good smoker I am. Talk too much. If you have and then it goes uh, out. crumbled it a little bit, maybe. I did it a little bit. Ah, yeah. So much. But, but I'll also forget it to stamp it in the start. Ah, okay. It always comes up. It's a nice tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is nice. And this one is also nice, is it? Is it a little peric or a little latake that is inside it? it I can it, taste it. It's something. funny, it has a little bit of uh, latake in yeah. it, but also peric. Mm -hmm. It's That's not aggressive it's at all. Cypress latakia, orientals, mm -hmm. virginias, and a pinch of Acadian peric. And funny, Taste that's good. why I told you try it. Yeah. Because I, up until today, I haven't been a particular fan of peric. Okay. But. I may change my mind because of this one because it's really a fine tobacco. It doesn't bother me. It's, it's mm. even better. Sorry, Cornell and Neil, but I was happy with this opening night until I tried this one. Okay. This one suits me even a lot better. better. Maybe it's me, but it's very. It much has it. a certain thing that I have never experienced. That, well, I did, but I didn't like it. It was a perique, but this probably because it's not too much. It's just. Uh, it's just a, a little, little bit, yeah, yeah. It works for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in my opinion, tobacco, it's very much a question of taste. Yeah. Some people like it strong, some people like it soft, some people like it aromatic, some people like it neutral. Mm. You know, you gotta try different tobaccos and see what better suits your taste. So there's not much more to it than uh, find out what, what feels good for you. So, yeah, exactly. It's different from person to person. It's very personal. Uh, taste so these are also well, yeah we, no we will talk about these we will we will have to tell guys that are uh, watching that we have also reverse calabash pipes here exactly even exactly. if they don't look like it no yeah they look like regular classics in a little bit on the chubby side because they have a little bit of a thick shank, shank yeah but not too thick like we see sometimes on on other reverse calabashes but also, there's another reason why we're doing this video. I would like to show you guys, and uh, Daniel also, uh, and we have discussed this. Because this is briar on briar, and because it is uh, yeah. the, the chamber is conical, uh, there's something that happens here. Not now, we, we just lit the pipe for three, four minutes ago, I don't know. Doesn't matter much. Yeah. But as the pipe warms up, the bowl 
will probably get a little bit loose, at least in mine, but uh, I have used another degree. Uh, it will not fall off. Yeah, um, maybe on that one, on that one crazy. Once. Yeah, but it's but, but just like I learned with this one to push it before lighting yeah. the up, to push it a little bit just to be safe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I sometimes put it somehow or whatever or yeah. I want to when you want to put out uh toss out a little bit of ashes that is maybe on top and you don't like it, you just you know hold a little bit on that on that plug. I just in case. It, yeah. it doesn't I don't think it will it's not necessary. fall out but and exactly just in case, you know. Yeah. Because you know, it's a, a thing that holds into itself, you know, into into the, 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 the outside shell, so... Exactly. So, what I mean is that, of course, because the wood will expand with the with heat, that's regular, that's normal. Um, for me, I found out that it's enough when I tamp it. The ball yeah. will go a little bit down, because what happens is that if you just smoke and don't tamp it, you'll see, maybe you'll feel it. I noticed sometimes when I didn't tamp it so much. So I was smoking, it's like it wasn't coming any smoke. It's because it got a little loose and then I just need to press it a little down. This one is not moving at all. I'm mine, telling you. Mine moves a little bit more yeah. because I used a, a different angle. Then I adjust it later on for this one and that one and the other ones. And I can see this adjust, this uh, changing of, of, the, of the angle. It, it helps on this um, I would I wouldn't call it an issue because that's just how nature works it, it expands with it and the prior expands yeah. with it but now it seems that it uh, came it's not smooth. getting loose it came smooth the mm -hmm. the, the uh, plug yeah but when you smoke it because it's not cover on the outside and I don't want to cover and it believe me because uh, when you smoke it the the moisture from the mm. smoke will a little bit make it rougher yes. and it will hold better That's, yeah also so that. i see sometimes that people are making um, those uh, plugs uh, it, it is good for a classical uh, calabash that actually yeah. holds on the cork yeah but for because this one it's making the holding be, exactly and this one a briar is actually holding on briar so it's better not to cover it at all to leave it be. no the outside the only thing i do on the outside i'll just polish it and mm. I don't want to make this one dirty, it's finished, it's polished. The only thing we do is I just polish the outside, nothing else, there is no coating, no nothing. So, uh, press it down and it's yeah. it's ready to, you to smoke. You have to use the pressure like crazy. No, just, no, just, just, uh, yeah. just press it a little bit, it's, don't need to press it too much, no. It's conical, it will fit. Mm. It's pretty much it the smoke, same. It smokes the same. Yeah. Yeah. It smokes the same. It's the, the only same, difference so. actually is, is the angle. Is the, the angle. angle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the only difference. But that's a, a way of uh, being comfortable if it will hold or not. So, mm. But smoking qualities are. Like, it, it should it's be the, the same. same. Yeah. And this is a tobacco with a little attack, but a little peric. It is a strong, it's a little strong tobacco. And uh, maybe you have noticed. I'm inhaling also but because. It doesn't I'm, bite. No. Nope. Have you noticed? It no. doesn't. Well, actually, it should not bite because of the pipe also. But I have been smoking but even on it. on a regular. In this yeah. little guy, you have seen it. Uh, <coughs> and I've been smoking it in, in corn cobs, and it doesn't bite. And that's what's what's really really good. It's a well balanced from mixture. my point of view. Yeah, it is a well balanced mixture. Yeah, it, yeah. it gives that picture. Yeah. Mm. yeah, as I was saying, uh, you can see, guys, I tend to inhale also the, the smoke from uh, from the pipe normally well we shouldn't inhale it's not good for your lungs so uh, of course but it's just an habit because I'm a cigarette smoker so uh, but anyway be because of this cooling surface if we can say so all the all this inner surface where the the smoke expands it really makes it very mild to smoke and that's why I, that's why I mentioned before in the video this is the best pipe I've ever smoked. It's not because I've made it. It's the system in itself. It's not. It could be someone else doing it, but this system really makes the smoke cool smooth. and very smooth, smooth. Yeah, and very comfortable to smoke. So um, that's why I'm so happy with it. And that's also why we wanted to make this video to show how the system works, to show you that uh, with expansion, you might notice. Uh, maybe it's only in the first one because there's a different angle. Now it's a little tighter. 
on these new ones and until now it's not it's not loose it's not going down which we'll see it will happen on that will not probably yeah, i don't know maybe less than half a millimeter it will yeah. go down but not much on that one with me and maybe because i smoke a little too hot and a little too hard maybe this one for me sometimes it gets almost flat with a, right now we have about one millimeter maybe a little more than a millimeter yeah. sticking above the, the top of the body of the pipe in the end it might go a little bit lower, lower down but that yeah. angle has changed has been changed and uh, and tested so uh, yeah it seems like uh, it's very stable and uh, yeah the funny thing is that it is a calabash system kind of I don't know really what to call it but it's a whole body and uh, it doesn't look at all like a calabash it's not too big it has still a very good capacity uh, of tobacco which many calabash don't have because of the body uh, bending so yeah, much that the bowl ones, when it really needs big. to go down yeah. it cannot be very deep because of this rounding on a oh, I have one here maybe uh, because the calabash goes so much this way uh, normally the bowl stops quite early unless I've, you curve it like you do yeah unless I, I'm starting doing this for quite uh, some years and I taught it also to Sabino which uh, she's using also and doing it very well uh, we get a little more of capacity because oh, the I've extended and uh, followed the same curve as the, the body of the calabash something like this so there is a little bit more capacity but still this one for a regular size it has quite a good capacity for tobacco yeah so uh, but uh, well we'll keep on smoking these ones and come back later and come back later yeah and maybe we'll open a beer or two <laughs> uh, <Okay. laughs> i've already opened one but uh, we'll later on we'll uh, would like to show the the first ericas that are finished and will be soon available yeah. and uh, Please uh, let us know your, your opinion, what you think, uh, shapes and finishes, whatever. Well, of course, I know people have dif different tastes and we do them as they come, but uh, we would like to know uh, we will talk your opinions about, about it. about that in part two. In part two, Both exactly. Session. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Okay. See you soon, guys. See you soon. You will, not, you will not want to look at us for uh, half an hour or maybe 40 minutes just blowing our pipe, so uh, exactly. we'll get soon back to you. We have more secret talks that, that you don't want to hear. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I'm a little too private. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. okay.